Yes sir, the greatest Sonic fan game has just returned after three years and Sage 2024 just started too, so yeah. And here's our brand new Sage, so unfortunately Water Palace is unplayable due to the um, water light changes in the framework. Okay, hold X to boost, so okay, there we go. Ooh, it's so cool. There's definitely like massive changes here too to the framework. Um, what's that called? Like, it controls a lot better, too. Like, bro, like, look at this. So cool. And then, rail grinding. Okay, cool. And then, um, home attack. Nice. Okay. Why did trick? Okay. There we go. L and R. I'm playing an Xbox controller, by the way, too. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is so cool. Like, Sage 2024 just started. So, expect a lot of, um... Sage fan games to be covered in this channel. I'm not gonna do every single Sage fan game like what Sonic Way did, anyways, but like I would do a lot of you know ones that like gotta be interested. So stay tuned for that. It'll be going as long as um Sage is around. So like it's like from September 6th, which is today, to um the 13th, which is like next week. So okay, here we go. Okay, gotta get used to the controls a bit. And then, ooh, okay, cool. Okay, shoot, bruh. Okay, ran out of juice. Okay, shoot. And then, okay, there you go. I can go for another run actually too, cause um, it's my first time playing this in a while. Like this is a complete like revamp of the game basically, and it's just so cool, bro. It's like the last one had water powers and like it was pretty good actually too, but like this is just like even better. Okay, um little platform right here. But yeah, bro, it's like it's crazy too. Like we're really a month and a half away from Sonic X Shadow Generation. So the plan is too, it's like after Sage is done, I'ma go through some generations mods as a nice little like trip down memory lane. Of, um, you know, because, like, the modern community generations is so massive and, like, probably pretty cool to, like, you know, show, like, a lot of the best mods the game has to offer before Shadow drops. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what goes from there, basically, too, after that game comes out. But, yeah, I have, like, a lot of plans for, um, when Shadow comes out. So excited. Or we'll press RT while tricking. Okay, so, homie top check. Okay, cool. Same as the, uh... First game. Okay, cool. Ooh. But to be fair, like this reminds me a lot of um Tropical Forest. Not Tropical Forest, uh, Tropical Jungle from uh 06. Okay. Dang it. Got the drift here too, pretty cool. Controls literally the same as Unleash, honestly too, but yeah, I mean Unleash Drift is actually pretty good. Despite the uh wonky controls. Okay, shoot, missed that uh, hoop. This definitely needs a um, another playthrough. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Loop de loop. Oh yeah, bro, I'm so excited because a lot of the games that like they reviewed look just so cool. Um, like one of them for example too is like um Project Reignited. One of the projects included there too is um Project Reunited, which is like the um same mod did for Secret Rings. One of the other ones I'm doing, um you remember that Secret Rings uh, fan game, like remake that's uh, coming out? Um there's another demo that I dropped uh, today too, so I'm gonna get for that pretty soon. That's probably the next game I'm gonna go for in this um Sage um expo. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh! Almost uh, <laughs> ended myself basically there too. Like massive clutch save. Now, oh, okay. Now that's light speed dash. I was like wondering like which button was the light speed dash for, but now nah, I figured it out. It's pretty cool. All right, now I'm getting used to controls, which is pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Over here. There we go. I pretty much mastered the controls here. Okay. Four minutes and 32 seconds. Pretty cool. That's like what? What the? Okay. That was interesting. 
Hey. What the? That's weird. <clears throat> and then, um... Oh! Oh! Okay. That was very weird. But, we're moving on. Okay. Do that. This is, like, so, like, well-designed, too. Like, I'm actually, like, very curious on, like, what other, like, mods... Not mods, like... I always say mods, but, like... Like, what other stages they're gonna, like, handle into this, like, 3D, um... Sonic Rush fan game. Okay, slide. I knew that already, but... Okay, Oh, I'll shoot. Out of juice! Oh, damn. Okay... Alrighty. Okay, cool. Slide. There we go. This is so cool. Ooh. Damn, I was actually very really close. Trick. Okay. Ooh, that's actually pretty clean. That was so clean. There we go. The stage has been finished. Pretty cool stuff. And dang, got an Eggman. All right, back to this stage again, except we're playing it better this time. But what's it called? I also have um, put on DS mode, and um, I guess it like, changes the resolution, the pixel count, to um, what it usually be on DS. So I thought it'd be like, you know, the DS horizontal, like, you know, like layout. But that's good enough, though. It's like actually playing on, you know, 3DS, not the 3DS. Okay, shoot, did an accident. I'm s I'm still like not very really used to controls much <laughs> like that. I know it's crazy, but like, hey, once I play with this game like more and more later on, I probably like get used to it pretty much. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I think this is another pathway right there, but eh, don't really matter. Alrighty. Okay, cool. Do this. Nice on. Ooh, damn. Missed that checkpoint. Unfortunate. Anyways. Wall jumping. Oh, shoot. Actually, never mind. Got checkpoint. Pretty cool stuff. Alrighty. Uh. Okay, cool. This is so cool. Like, you got that nice little, like, little mini cutscene right here. So dope. We died, like, once, though. So, I mean, I doubt get an S rank. But, we'll actually see. Alrighty. Boost for these. Boost to win. Boost to win. That's so cool. You can, like, really, like, wall jump while doing tricks. That's so dope. Ooh, okay, cool. Shortcut. Dang it, missed that uh, other pathway, but it's okay. I like how it's a call, like, you know, you've missed a checkpoint. It automatically gets it for you, too, which is actually pretty cool, so. Okay, do this. Ooh. This might sound a hot take, but I feel like the spin dash was a bit unnecessary in, like, Rush, because, like, there was barely ever a time to, like, use spin dash in Rush. That's just me, at least. I just, I just feel like, you know, like, it's just there. It's kind of how the drop dash is in Frontiers, like, it's just, like, not needed. But it's just, like, literally, like, there. Okay. There we go. Dang, I missed that shortcut. But it's okay. We so got the s rank stuff over there. Nice on. Oh, we got a shield. Didn't know about this at all, actually, but, like... Yeah, the spin dash, I just feel like, was, like, unnecessary. I don't know, like, if it's on Colors DS or not, but, like, yeah, I just feel like... I just feel like it's, like, very unnecessary to include. And, like, the drop dash getting added in Generations, which, I mean, like, it's cool, though, but, like, then again, like, we got the boost, so, like, it's not really, like, needed. Ooh, I was actually very close. Tough. Okay. Nice on. Okay. There we go. Hope we get that S rank, at least. Got an A rank. Mm -hmm.